Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be taking a look at this indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity monitor. We're currently experiencing a heat wave in the UK and I thought what better way to monitor how hot it actually gets here in my garden than with this indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity sensor. You might have seen I've had one of these before in my workshop to measure the humidity. Um, it's a timber building, sometimes they get a bit damp. We're trying to monitor airflow and stuff so we've got one in there. But this is an indoor and outdoor one so I'm thinking of putting one in the lounge and one outdoors today. Um, I'm going to set it up, hopefully connect them together and then we can probably monitor the temperature throughout the day and just see exactly what we do reach. Right, let's open the box. So these were really easy to unpackage then, uh, just the two units wrapped in bubble wrap and the trickiest thing was getting the plastic off the batteries that came with it. And batteries coming with it, that's always a great idea, isn't it? Always a bonus. Um, I got this from Amazon, obviously on next day delivery. There'll be a link in the description below, click on there and it'll take you straight to it if you're interested. Right, let's put the batteries in and see how it works. Now, I've already noticed on the back, one of the great things about these little units is you don't have to fumble around and find a screwdriver to undo the battery compartment. They just slide, but it's actually locked. So you pick up the arm, the stand that, that it will sit on, pull that down and the battery compartment's open. Easy, eh? Easy. So we just put the batteries in and I'm pretty sure it will just fire up and then you just got to set the date and the time with a bit of luck. So that's it. It's picked up the temperature straight away. Uh, it's saying 32 degrees C. Blimey, that is warm. <laughs> I knew it was warm. I didn't think it was that warm. Now, this unit, it can be mounted um, on a wall. You can lift that up and there's a little bit on the top there to hang on a, a nail or a screw. Or there's a stand on the back. So if you just want to put it on your side, put it on the stand at the back. There's also, with this, you press the button there and that'll just increase the brightness of the screen so you can see exactly what's happening on there. Now at the top, we've got the out temperature. So before I set the time and everything, because you only get three minutes once you've, once you've fired this one up, there's three minutes to connect to the outdoor one. So we'll put the, out, the batteries in here now. And again, there's no um, screws on the back. Just lift up the little clip at the bottom and that comes off, that's easy. So much better. Now, we'll clip this in, two batteries in there. Now, you notice I've got a pencil sat on the table. I did have a quick look, and there's a little transmit button in there. So on here, we're looking at that, and that should be searching now for, it's connected straight away. <laughs> I've got, I got the pencil out, there's a little transmit button on there, and it just says that if it doesn't, if it doesn't connect to trouble connecting, you press that button and it will transmit and send a signal between one to the other, and uh, and it'll be able to pick it up. But hey ho, there you go, did it first off. You can't argue with that, can you? Better than I thought. Right, outdoor sensor. Then we've got a little hook on the back. There's no stand for this, and the reason is, in here there's some vents in the bottom where it needs to keep the electronics cool, so they're in there if it's ever in direct sunlight, and this is where it will transmit from. So you don't want any water getting in there so it needs to be mounted off off the floor somewhere on a wall or or something like that this one we can leave it on the table today i want to get maximum sunlight on there i want to see how hot it actually gets so this one will stay outside but ordinarily you'd mount it on a wall somewhere out the way where it's not going to get damp and damage it okay and preferably in the shade because it is better to measure that you get a more accurate reading with a temperature sensor in the shade and not in full sun. Okay, so we'll just put that one over there for a moment and then we'll come back and have a look at this. Right then, there are several control buttons on the back. Um, we've got here the, the temperature Fahrenheit or Celsius. We have ours in Celsius, it's, uh, it's easier to read. The 12 or 24 hour um, clock adjustment on there and then a plus and minus. Now, for the 12 and 24 hour clock adjustment, you press it once and it should go into, uh, what does it look, go into 12 hours. Press it again, and it's back into 24 hours. I'll leave ours in 24 hours, because it's just, it's easier to, to read at a glance, isn't it, I suppose. So we'll leave it in 24 hours. Um, to actually set the time itself, you actually hold that in, 
for 12, 24 hours until it starts flashing and it's come up with the year on the bottom there, 2022. I'm not sure how, how clearly you can see the numbers, um, but it's got 2022 on the bottom. So once on 2022, that one's correct. So we can just press one again and it's first of the first. So we need to adjust the, the date on that. Now I'm not sure whether it's the American way around of doing things or, or, the, uh, or the British way around. So I'm just gonna run this up. Right, so yeah, it's the it's the day, it's the month first, right? Okay, so we're in uh, July at the moment, so that's the seventh. Click the button again, then we'll go through, and the date today is. I'm not hundred percent sure. I better have a look at the paper. I think it's about the the twenty first, is it? No need to look at the newspaper. I've been reliably informed it's the 19th by the camera crew. So the 19th, we've got that on there, 19th of the 7th, okay? So 19th of the 7th, we'll press this again, and then we'll go to the time. Now, you just have to work out how to put the time on. And the time at the moment is, I've got a, a mobile phone somewhere around, if I can find that. Quarter to 11, 10.45. Easier said than done when you're doing it for the camera. And then we'll just move that up to 45. Ten forty-five. press it again. And then that's all set, man. And I'll tell you what, it is warm. 37 degrees we've got uh, for the outside temperature. Now you, you'll notice that the monitor's missing off here. I've gone and put it out in direct sunlight to try and lift it up a bit. But oh, it's gone up to 38 now as we speak. Look, so we've got 38 degrees out there and where I'm sitting here in the shade is 36 degrees and not even 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, that's some temperature today. That, that is, really is uh, something. So there you go, that's it. It's got everything set up. We've got the, the, the uh, outdoor temperature on the top indoor temperature on the on the bottom and then we've got the humidity in between we've got the uh, dry zone over here the wet zone over there which when i was on about we've got a workshop uh, and the wood gets a little bit damp we're, we're in the wet area we've got a dry diesel heater now and, and we can dry the air out and we can keep that sort of in the middle um, uh, and you need to be in the comfort zone really with, with any buildings it'd be interesting to see where this comfort zone moves today whether it is very humid or whether it is very dry or whether it does stay in the middle I, I really don't know if I'm honest with you and then the date and the time at the bottom so you've got it all on there um, the back display does dim itself a little bit sometime and you can just press the light on there and it'll lift the display back up so you can see it again but there you go so that's just a quick look at the uh, the temperature monitor itself for inside and outside i'll leave that on the table and we'll come back throughout the day and we'll have a little look and see how, exactly how we get on well it's been an hour and uh, i'll put this uh, sensor inside and as you can see the inside temperature says 28 degrees right and the outside temperature is up to 39. now i did say that i was going to sit here and i'll monitor it throughout the day as it gets hotter and hotter but it is just too warm for that it is too warm that's that's a, a mega temperature 39 degrees that is in the sun with the outside uh, the sensor unit so i'm going to pop that sensor unit in the shade and we'll see what the real temperature is uh, over the rest of the day but you get the idea about how these work they're brilliant the, the humidity thing it's reading in the middle of the comfort zone in the house as well so that's quite good you know 28 degrees is still fairly warm to have to have inside but at least you're in the comfort zone so that's pretty good and it has just clicked over to 40 degrees outside now as well so that's mega hot well in mind i think i'm gonna head off for a cold drink um, all the links to this are in the description below as i said before give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you can if you want to know what we finally get to on the temperature follow me across all the social media channels you'll find all the information there thanks for watching i'm jimmy the mower i'll catch you on the next one